This is Victoria Myers, Progressive Farmer Senior Editor. I have a story to tell you. It's about a man who loves to farm. He also loves God. This is A Minister's Tale by award-winning journalist Jim Patrico. It's corn harvest and Steve Struker is multitasking away in the cab of an auto steer combine. A third generation farmer, this is what Steve was born to do. He works a large corn and soybean operation near West Bend, Iowa. For a lot of farmers, those straightaways in a field while the auto steer takes the helm, they're good times to study the markets or return phone calls. Steve uses those breaks to write his Sunday sermons. At 56, Steve is tall, thin, and continuously smiling. He is energy and spirituality in a farmer's cap and jeans one day, clerical alb and stole the next. He tends two Lutheran congregations, and Sundays are no days of rest for him or wife Kathy, who's right there through two morning services and evening Bible classes, not to mention potlucks, funerals, emergencies, and visits to shut-ins. Steve decided to become a lay deacon midlife when the Lutheran pastor who served the neighboring communities of Livermore with a population of just 380 and Luverne with an even smaller population of 300 became ill. Steve started helping two temporary replacement pastors serve those congregations. Eventually, those pastors had to move on and it seemed for a while that the two small churches would have to close. That's when Deacon Steve got the calling. It was his job to do whatever it took to keep those church doors open, and what followed were the four hardest years of Steve's life as he studied for ordination. In 2015, he became Pastor Steve, and today both Livermore and Luverne are his congregations. Steve's wife, Kathy, had never envisioned life as a pastor's wife. Raised Catholic, she married a farmer and thought her role as a farmer's wife and the full-time employee of an insurance company were hectic enough. Now, her third job would be as a pastor's wife. It tells you a lot about her attitude that she enthusiastically refers to this as a great adventure. The notion of a farmer slash pastor probably goes back to the founding of the Lutheran faith when followers of Martin Luther became clergy, in addition to holding day jobs such as farming, blacksmithing, or shopkeeping. But today, Pastor Steve is something of an experiment for the modern Lutheran Church of Missouri Synod which not that many years ago frowned on the idea that pastors could have two careers. A shortage of clerics has loosened the rules a little. It's an issue for many denominations in rural America today. Sadly, vacant church buildings are becoming too common. Steve Turner, a fellow pastor and the Synod's district president for West Iowa, is a friend of Pastor Steve's. In fact, he's the one who encouraged him to work toward ordination. He says there's this sense of wanting small towns to be the way they were a generation or two ago. He notes it's a different world now. He points to rural school consolidation as a parallel to what's happening with small town churches today. Many rural communities went on school building binges in the 50s and 60s to accommodate baby boomer kids. When that generation graduated and moved away, neighboring towns had to consolidate school districts, and Iowa's small towns today are littered with empty schoolhouses. Churches are about 20 to 30 years behind that, but the congregations have grown older and they've become smaller in number. The critical mass and financial means needed to keep churches open is simply disappearing. Turner hopes pastors like Steve, who serve multiple congregations, will be an answer. 
congregation split the salary of a pastor like Steve and share some services. Meanwhile, they retain their own identities. Pastor Steve feels there's something appropriate that he as a farmer is today involved in caring for his community's spiritual health. It's so easy to relate farming to religion, Pastor Steve says. The land needs to be cared for. The gospel message we receive is likewise so important. Churchgoers need to hear it on a weekly basis to nurture their souls. To read a minister's tale in its entirety, go to our May digital edition at dtnpf.com. Thanks for listening. Bye, y'all.